You're watching the ugly inside. Subscribe below. Southampton kick off our Europa League campaign at home at St Mary's on Thursday night against Sparta Prague and I'm here to give you my predicted starting 11 to play Sparta on Thursday. Let's get straight into it then. Between the sticks, the man mountain Fraser Forster. Although he hasn't actually kept a clean sheet since that six match run back in February and March. So there perhaps there's a little bit of a doubt in his ability at the moment. But nonetheless, Fraser Forster, England's number one in the sticks for me. So in at right back then, it's got to be a flat back four. And Cedric Suarez gets the nod for me. He's been, you know, pretty good so far this season. Jeremy Pierre. Uh, it picked up a, an unfortunate injury. It's going to keep him out for at least six months. And I think he may have well started this game to, to give the team a bit of rotation. But nonetheless, Pierre's injured. Martinez is up, not up to uh, Puel's uh, quality. So Cedric uh, starts at right back. Alongside him, it's going to be his compatriot, Jose Fonte. And the rest, you probably know as well, Virgil van Dijk alongside him. The, the gruesome twosome, the best partnership in the Premier League. But look, this is Europa League. It's a different competition. Uh, anyway, left back then, it's got to be Ryan Bertrand. Uh, I think, like I said, we need to play our strongest team because I think if we don't play our strongest team, the, the pressure will start to slowly and creep up on Claude. Uh, you know, he hasn't won yet in a competitive fixture. Um, so we have to play our strongest team. So Ryan Bertrand gets the nod in a left back. Mighty Target's had a, a decent run of games, but Ryan Bertrand's our strongest left back at the club. I felt we made a good account of ourselves against Arsenal at the Emirates on Saturday and I felt Romeo had an excellent game. But I think he might be rested for this one. But I'm going to stick in Jordi Classy in the holding midfield position, assuming that we're going to play a 4-4-2 diamond. Now, the rumours and re reports suggest that it's, it's a very continental system, so this may well work to our favour. But... We shouldn't underestimate Sparta, but nonetheless, Jordi Classy in the holder midfield role. Just ahead of him then, I think we need a little bit of energy against, uh, you know, perhaps an unknown opposition. I'm sure the club have done a lot of scouting and, and know what we're going to be playing up against. But I think we need a bit of, bit of energy and a big sort of strong lad. And in, and in that midfield, it's got to be Pierre-Emil Hoiberg. And alongside him, it's got to be the tireless Northern Ireland maverick, uh, Stephen Davis. Had a bit of a stick in the last couple of weeks. There's a bit of a few shouts coming in from a few fans that he should be dropped, but I think he's he's so important for our team. It offers a lot of energy going up and down the pitch all day long. And alongside sort of Hoiberg, uh, he will offer that energy to keep us going on Thursday night because it's going to be a long season. This is going to be a real, real test for us in our first test this season. So in the number 10 then, I think we all know what's coming here. It's Dusan Tadic. Uh, was excellent against Arsenal and has had a, an excellent uh, f first few weeks in the Premier League as well. So he has to play in the number 10 and he's come into his own being the number 10 playmaker. So he has to get into this squad. So let's go up top then. Uh, we saw the formations slightly mix up uh, against Arsenal. It was a, sometimes I saw it was a 4-1-4-1 or a 4-4-2, sort of a you know traditional 4-4-2. But I think Pugh's going to go back to his diamond system and he's going to have the two up top. Uh, for me, I think he has to start uh, Charlie Austin. He's not had a chance to, to start a few games so far this season. He's only started what's it, one or two, I think it is. I think this, this could be his real, his real chance to put a stamp on his uh, first team place in the team. If he has an excellent game and scores a couple of goals against Sparta on Thursday, then you know he could be in contention for a, a first team position against Swansea, providing he can play two games in a week, of course. But this is his chance now to get, re, regain some fitness uh, in the in the midweek fixture. So Charlie Austin gets the nod from me, and alongside him is uh, Puel Thierry Henry, so to speak. So Nathan Redmond gets that nod alongside him. We know he's not a striker. We know he's a winger, but Puel seems to favour him up top. So that's my starting eleven to play Sparta Prague on Thursday night in the Europa League. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your starting eleven is going to be and who do you think is going to score? What's your score predictions? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more.